hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys this beautiful highlighted blonde wig from kalai hair so if you're interested in seeing how i got this look together then just keep on watching i'm gonna start off with some unboxing here this is the satin bag that the wig came in. These are some of the goodies that the wig came with. A melt band so you can have your wig nice and laid. The wig itself uh, fresh out of the box. You see those highlights there. You have two combs on the right and left side, a comb in the middle, a comb in the back, and adjustable straps. So this is what the wig looks like just fresh on my head here. So off camera, I am, I am going to wash this wig and I actually bleached the knots. I've never bleached the knots on a wig that was this light, but I was uh, bleaching the knots on a different wig. So I just decided to do that. So uh, this is after I have washed the wig and I have tweezed the hairline. If you don't know how to tweeze the hairline, I do have a separate video on how to do that. And it looks, it makes your wig look a lot better. And this is the result here. So I'm gonna start to go ahead and cut the lace and everything. So I'm gonna be cutting this wig with my eyebrow razor here so I can get a nice um, close cut and a, like that jagged look. But first I'm cutting off some of the excess lace that they had on here because it was pretty long and it's hard to use like the razor if the lace is that long. So I went ahead and cut that with my regular shears and then I proceeded to use the eyebrow razor to get a nice close cut. I'm going to take my Juvia's Place concealer in the shade J13. And I'm going to diffuse that concealer on the back of my hand so it's not like too thick. And I'm going to use my makeup brush to put that on my lace. Um, it's still gonna, the lace is still gonna be pretty light and I'm gonna have to work with it afterwards, but this did help tint it a bit. So I'm putting the wig back on my head here and I'm just kind of brushing out the hair before I start to apply this wig and cutting off a little bit of any lace that I wanted to remove. And I'm going to be using my Eben Wonder Lace Bond Adhesive Spray that I swear by. Um, I'm going to go ahead and spray this wig down. I'm going to start in the middle. And then I'm going to press it down with my rat tail comb. And after I do that, I'm going to go, go ahead and blow dry this wig. And I'm going to be doing this process like the middle area of the hairline and then on the sides as well. And just going back and forth and fixing that before I put on my melt band. Just text, I know it's a toss oh, but I hate the fact that we lost such a the Uber pulling up on call. Tell me as you trying to fall through. I'ma leave it up to you. Would you okay, so I went ahead and put on my melt band. So while I was doing my makeup and styling the wig, my lace would be laid. So here it is after I did my makeup. So now I'm gonna be molding my side part. I'm gonna take my rat tail comb and do like a curved side part here. And I'm gonna take my wax stick so I could mold it even more. I got this wax stick from Amazon. All the products I use to get this wig together will be listed in the description box for you guys. So I went ahead and put down the wax stick and then use my hot comb to set it in place. And I'm gonna recommend that you actually flat iron this wig all the way out before you curl it because the finished product, you're gonna see like the back of my head is a little bit curly still. If you don't want that curly look back there, definitely flat iron your wig all the way out. Uh, the next time I wear this, or if I wear this again, I would definitely do that. So I'm gonna take my heat protectant here before I start to curl this wig. And I'm using my hot comb to run through the hair first because it did have a wavy texture after I washed it. Um, and then I'm gonna take my curl wand here and put some nice barrel curls in this wig. I'm gonna do that all over the head. Um, so I put my curl in and then as I dropped the curl, I held it in my hand until it cooled off. 
so it would like preserve the curl so while you guys are watching me curl this wig i'm gonna go ahead and read the specs for you guys so this is their honey blonde highlight body wave 13 by 4 lace front wig it's 100 percent virgin human hair at the shortest length at 14 inches this wig starts off at 150 dollars and 67 cents which is very affordable so this is a nice affordable company for you guys and it goes all the way up to 28 inches you can get 150 percent density or 180 um, with my specs, I have the 20 inches and it's 180% density. Okay, after I curled the wig, I did put a little bit of a layer in the bang area. It looks so much better when you have like layers and dimension in your wigs. Um, so I did that. And then I took my Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder in shade 332. And I put that in the parting space to wake it up and make it look more natural. And I also put some hairspray on the hair so the curls... To make sure the curls didn't drop too fast and then i took my l'oreal um root touch up and i colored the lace towards the ear area because i had a little bit of the lace kind of overlapping my natural hair color so i wanted to make it make sense and here's the sunlight test for you guys i feel like this looks pretty good especially because i don't have baby hairs and always remember these lace wigs lace is fabric and it's not skin so you're still going to detect it um but I think I did a great job and this is what it looks like in high sunlight and in shade. This looks really, really good. Um, but it's always going to be a fabric and not skin. But I think I laid this wig and this looks very pretty. I'm not really into blondes, but I think this turned out really pretty. So after I did the sunlight test um, on camera, it was looking a little bit light. So I went ahead and took my foundation, which was the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Coco. And I put some on the back of my hand, diffused it with a makeup brush, and I put it on the lace, and it looked even better. Yeah, so overall, if you're looking for like a summer look, you like blondes, check this out. This is an affordable wig for you guys. And they do have a coupon code, so if you're interested in this wig, you can head over to Kalaya here and pick it up there. And shout out to me, because I like this wig. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> shout out to Kalaya here for sponsoring today's video. And shout out to you guys for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Hey, the Uber pulling up on call. Tell me as you trying to fall through. I'ma leave it up to you. What you wanna do? Look, I'm trying to spend this time with you. No, we all but do what you're doing right now. Baby, won't you swing my way? It's been a day and I've been thinking out loud. I know I want you. Long time since the last time. Got a tab, we can run up. Knew you from the way, now we grown up. My look, yeah, made the realest most nervous.